Yeah. Um, so I give a lot of technical interviews and I'm, there are certain behavior patterns that are, are kind of like well-known. Like there's definitely a science to doing these technical interviews when you, when you sort of look for these behavioral cues and you can sometimes tell when someone's been coached on them, but they're, they're real. And, and they are like, it's not necessarily about getting the, the problem right. It's about how you articulate what your solution is going to be ahead of time and how you sort of like sketch it out first and explain your thought process. And then as you go through, you're like articulating why you're doing what you're doing. So it's some of those kind of, um, softer skills, the communication skills are critical. And you can, usually it's kind of obvious, like something there has it or they don't. There are a lot of undergrads in particular that feel like, oh, like I'm just taking a math test. Like they will do the programming question in silence. You're kind of like, no, I want to like see how you think. Um, that That's a big one. And so I, I'm, I'm often trying to assess, uh, sort of like not I don't love like the hardcore algorithms questions because I, I honestly don't feel like I would do well on on a lot of stuff but what I do like are questions that involve um manipulating data like can you think about the right way to store some kind of like messy format or the right um data structure for to map to this particular problem and I also love problems that contain like a little bit of a head fake where there's maybe like a little bit of misdirection in the problem statement that forces the candidate to ask a good clarifying question. And that is like a really important skill that I think maps very well to success in the workplace is like someone who knows how to ask the right clarifying question is a big one. Um, and the final thing is like, I judge people a lot by the questions they ask me. So at the end of the interview, I'll always open it up. Like, hey, do you have any questions about what we do, what we work on here? It could be anything. And you'd be shocked how many people are like, no, I'm good. I'm good. No questions. And you're like, you have been given like a carte blanche with someone in the industry you want to go into. Even if you think you've heard everything, just ask again. See if this guy knows something different. See if he'll let something slip. Like, why not press a little bit? And so every once in a while, you get someone where you can, like, I can just tell they're a nerd. Like, they they nerd out on the same thing that I do. And I, that comes across in the questions. And so I love that. Like, if you get someone who want, who's, like, pushing me to drill into the details of some part of our stack or the way we solve some specific problem, like, that to me shows, like, you're genuinely into this and you're going to, you're going to be a good, good contributor.